Okay guys, let's get familiar with the Linux firewall as well. I'm using CentOS 8, the most recent version of CentOS or we can say Linux operating system, which is, we can say CentOS 8. Uh, so in, uh, let's do one thing, cat slash etc slash CentOS release. There you go. This is what it is. I uh, recently upgrade my CentOS from 7 to 8. It is up to date. So if you're using CentOS 8.4, probably newer than that or greater than that, you are good to go. This operating system does come with the firewall as well. Okay, let's play around with the CentOS firewall a little bit. Ping, yahoo.com, yeah. So it is not necessary to ping, but sometime as a as a person who want to troubleshoot the Linux operating system, you probably need to make sure that there is what the system or the Linux operating systems are able to access what internet. Let's first see what is allowed, what is not allowed. Firewall is a command. I will definitely uh, leave the command uh, in the command section as well. Firewall, we can say. We can say firewall list services. Okay, I am not using root user. That is why it prompt me type the password. Uh, interesting, but that is fine. Okay, there you go. So, and my Linux operating system, there is a port allow, which is SSH. Guys, you are I don't know familiar about the SSH or not. It is when you access your, I mean, network devices through secure shell terminal. We have a telnet and we have a SSH, but SSH is the more secure way. Let me allow, uh, a, I mean, let me allow a port, a uh, specific port, I can say HTTP to my firewall. Firewall, what we're going to do? Firewall, CMD. We can see in which zone we have to make, sh in which zone we have to, I mean, which zone you're supposed to allow the HTTPS zone. I can say public. Oh, yeah, there you go. I was like, wait a minute, why it doesn't work? Uh, at what services, what HTTP? P, there you go. Okay, now oh, it's asking. There you go. I add this port successfully without any error or without any issues. Let's check once again. This is the command. You can find out which port is allowed, which port is not. Before it was... Uh... Okay, there you go. If you remember, we had the HTTP allow in here, but now we have a HTTP. We had the SSH allow here, but now we have a HTTP as well okay let's uh, allow some other services as well or we can uh, assign through the port as well let's see if we can do through the port as well and instead of services we can say firewall firewall cmd zoom we need to specify the zoom other public uh, public add Oh, there you go, add the port. So now what we need to do in here, we need to specify the port. Great, so in here we need to specify the port. For example, we can say port 2, 20, 20. Let's name it TCP. What do you think? So now I allow, successfully, I allow a port which is 2020 which is under tcp transmit control protocol i allow it okay how to make sure that this port is here and how to make sure that the port is enabled back to firewall uh, we need to do firewall the same firewall same the um, list Port, enter, 
CentOS. There you go. Now in here, it shows that the port 2020 is enabled through the firewall. One thing you should keep in your mind, probably you'd get a bit confused, but no worry, you can re-review this class as well. But these are a brief information about the uh, Linux firewall. This is CentOS is, we can say, the draft version of the Red Hat the pay version if you know this command you can easily play with the red hat as well okay i say that firewall cmd we can say less ports so with this kind of command we can see the port but if i say less services i can see the services let me remove both of them from what i have done and instead of saying add we can say remove 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 it remove remove services http there you go now let me check if it is still here or not okay there you go now i have removed the HTTP, the same as with HTTPS, the same as with ICMP, the same as with the POP3, IMAP, or any types of port that you want to allow in this, allow in here, you're good to go through the Linux firewall. Now, let's find out, I have any other port, I have to remove that one as well. Remember guys, so last and instead of service, I would say port. So I really need to, I really need to remove this port. So but if I want to remove this port, the same way, firewall, uh, CMD, and we can say remove, remove what? Remove port 2020 0 slash TCP. Should be TCP or I have to mention TCP. It doesn't matter. There you go. Let's make sure that the port is removed. There you go. There's no port anymore. Okay, guys, this is how you can uh, add, remove, even block or disable the firewall. But this is the most recent Linux operating system, and I'm so happy. Okay, guys, in the next section, we're going to have a basic troubleshoot of wire and wireless technology and we are almost about to finish this course i am so so excited guys believe me what i have shared in this course is all in the production if you go in any company and any organization whether it's a profit or non-profit organization believe me just join and this is what is going on in the most of the companies see you guys there